all ready to go with the piano on its back and stuff underneath to collect any drips, which I've never had a problem with on an upright yet, but you never know. So, uh, this is my pipette, and I've used it once, so it's a little dirty, but um, it's still working, so I'm going to use it in this bottle I'm using up here. I'm going to let that soak up, and I got my light, and we're going to start here. And I'm going to try to do this at first holding the camera and we'll see how it goes. And my pipette is almost full. They are full. Get the little out to make sure I have a little air. And I'm starting at the base end just because that's where I like to start. Doesn't really matter. And I'm going to go in. I don't know if I can do this with a phone. And then there's a lot going in there. Can you see that little line coming down? Okay, a lot just went in there. Eee, more, more, more. More. You basically, there you go. I slipped. But you go, this is going to be hard to do with a phone. You go till you see it come to the top. There we go. Okay, I put a, a whole pipette in that one. That's actually not normal. So this piano is probably going to take a lot. Watch it start to drip out the bottom for the first time ever. There we are. Filling up the pipette. Leave a little air in the bottom. I'm going to go back to this same pin and put some more in. And don't worry, this video will not have me doing every single pin in the piano. I'm going to show the beginning, middle, and end. And that is still taking it, so it's going somewhere. I'm going to move ahead. And this one doesn't have a lot of light, but it is what it is. Let's see how this one fills up. I can see it come to the top, so that's good. And basically, I'm just going to keep doing this until they start holding it. And then, uh, as they fill, I will go back and uh, keep topping them off until it stays puddled. This isn't the best light. There, see how it came up? Let me see if I can get my light on on my phone. Oh, look at that. More light. More light is good. I got a little on the coils there. I don't like doing that, but it won't kill it. I'm going to keep moving and come back. So I usually do... Oh, look at that. It's wicking up. Oh, look at that. See? It's coming up. It's soaking up through the other ones. So that means it's running inward, so that makes me happy. Um, I usually do four to six of them, and this is the type of super glue I'm using. Super gold foam safe odorless because it is, all the fumes go straight down. I don't breathe a thing. I don't have to wear a mask, nothing. Uh, it is $22.49 on sale for this one. This is a two ounce bottle, which I normally buy. That's a one ounce bottle I shouldn't have bought. Uh, normally $30, you know, it's good. And that's the cheapest I've ever found it. It's good stuff. My pipette is full. So here I go again. Oh, look at that. They're all soaking up. It's all going, so it's going underneath the pins. So that's beautiful. Okay, two pipettes, one's filling while I'm using the other one. I'm going back to the beginning. This is really hard to do with a camera. But I don't have a camera stand, so it is what it is. I've been avoiding this one because the coils are so against the wood. And actually, that pin, there's not a lot of room for glue here. But if the glue is soaking up, I'll be able to top it off pretty easily. Oh, there, see, that's what I want to see. I want to see that liquid come up, but it's still going down, so I'm going to have to keep filling it. This one, the glue's coming up from underneath. Yay! I am very happy. 
about that. Let's see if I can get a, a good view here, sort of, maybe, kind of. I'm putting a ton of glue in there. This piano is going to take a lot of glue. Okay, I'm going to pause it for a little bit. There is a first time for everything. I am moving on to the treble without finishing the bass because I've never had a piano take this much super glue in the bass. And I think I'm going to have to, I'm going to run out of super glue. I think I'm going to have to go to the store and buy cheap super glue and get my gas mask and all that stuff. So anyway, this is how it normally works. It's good to know how things can go wrong though. Um, if you can see here, it is puddling. Can you see it? I uh, can't see it that well, but it's puddling. So that one's like full. Uh, maybe, and all these are actually starting to puddle. So you'll be able to see a little bit maybe. Um, let's see if I can look at the camera and what I'm doing at the same time. I got a bubble there. But basically I can't add any more. So every time I top them off, I keep moving left, and then I go back and top off the ones that soaked in. I'm filling one. You can see the light move a little bit, and it's coming up in another. So I know it's it's filling. Now I'm starting to hit the ones I haven't done yet. See, so these are the, the new ones. That's this is how it normally looks. The, this base is is going to be a problem. I've never had this happen before. First time for everything. And my previous rule, my previous rule was to have at least four ounces of super glue. This piano is going to be the first one that takes more than four ounces, so I'm in trouble. But fortunately, there is a hardware store very close by that has a very thin super glue. I already know it's there because this is the second time I've run out of super glue. Um, the first time it happened, I said, okay, new rule, always have at least four ounces because I've never used more than four. Oh, this is funny. I push it in here and it comes up on the ones in front. Can you see it move? Yeah, maybe. Anyway, so as far as my base goes, I think um, it's either filling in some pretty large cracks because it would not hold tune. It was pulling the hammer out of my hand. And or just filling up between, you know, around the bushings. Um, but it's not coming out of the piano. So, so now I'm working backward again and I'm topping them off. There, that's how you know when it's puddling, when it when it bubbles up. And uh, you got if you go too fast, you'll bubble it up and spill it everywhere. And I try my best not to get it on the coils and on the plate, but sometimes you drip a little. But I've never had a problem from it being on the coils. It just pops free. And these are whoops, sorry about that. These are almost full. And that one's full. Can you see it? It's shiny. I can't really add more on that one. I might be able to in a few minutes though, so I'm going to come back and check it. And now I'm going to move forward again and start filling the new ones up again. And I just keep doing that. It takes forever, but this piano is going to hold tune when I'm done. Right now it won't at all. Zero. Nothing. Every pin just goes, you. Okay, I'm going to pause it because you don't need to keep watching me do this. What do you do if a pin's been hammered in all the way? I put the glue there. If it's been hammered in all the way and you can't get to the base, I just put it there. It soaks in. It'll get there. What do you do if um, the wood, the bushing around the pin is pretty tight? If you put a drop like that, not even a bit much, I might put a little less. It'll soak in. Just wait. You'll come back to it. It'll be gone. It'll be gone. In fact, I'll do that. And that one I put the, the dot on, it's already soaked in. I can put another one. A little more. There we go. And the rest of these are looking beautiful. 
it's just pulling pooling and they're all capped off they will not take any more so I'm done with these I just got to finish up this treble end I decided to film a little bit here because uh, it's it's easier to see it going in so I'm at the upper treble right now and you can see it going in not rushing too much Whoops, did I skip a row? I skipped a row. It's because I'm trying to film and do this at the same time. But it's okay. 